Imagine waking up every day with a profound sense of acceptance and love for everything that comes your way, both the joyous and the painful, the expected and the unexpected. What if the challenges you face aren't obstacles to your happiness, but essential parts of a life well lived? Welcome to the transformative philosophy of Amor Fati, the love of one's fate. This stoic principle is not just about passive acceptance. It is an active, wholehearted embrace of life as it is in all its complexity. The ancient Stoics believed that true contentment doesn't come from external circumstances, but from within, from our attitudes toward those circumstances. Amor Fati is the practice of embracing every moment, every event, and every twist of fate as something not merely to be endured, but to be loved. This philosophy teaches us that our lives are woven from both light and shadow, and it is the interplay of these elements that gives life its richness and meaning. In this deep dive, we'll explore how embracing Amor Fati can lead to a more resilient, peaceful and fulfilled life. We'll examine the origins of this concept, its relevance in today's world, and practical ways to cultivate this mindset in your daily life. Together, we'll uncover how loving your fate can transform the way you experience and respond to life's inevitable ups and downs. The Origins of Amor Fati To understand Amor Fati, we must first delve into the philosophical roots from which it springs. The term itself is most closely associated with the Roman Emperor and Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius who wrote extensively on the importance of accepting and loving one's destiny. However, the concept can be traced back to earlier Stoics, including Epictetus and Seneca. The Stoics believed that the universe is governed by a rational order, often referred to as Logos. Everything that happens, they argued, is a part of this rational order, and therefore, everything that happens is ultimately for the good. This doesn't mean that every event is pleasant or desirable in itself, but rather that each event contributes to the overall harmony and balance of the universe. For the Stoics, resistance to this natural order is futile and counterproductive. They taught that we should align our will with the will of the universe, accepting what happens with grace and equanimity. Amor Fati goes a step further than mere acceptance, it is about loving and embracing whatever life throws our way. Understanding that every experience, whether joyful or painful, is an integral part of the fabric of our lives. Marcus Aurelius famously wrote in his meditations, a blazing fire makes flame and brightness out of everything that is thrown into it. This metaphor captures the essence of Amor Fati, the idea that we can take everything life gives us and use it to fuel our growth wisdom and inner strength. Why does loving your fate matter today? In our modern world, where we are constantly bombarded with messages about the pursuit of happiness, success and perfection, the idea of loving one's fate might seem counterintuitive. We are often taught to fight against adversity, to strive for more, to change what we don't like. And while there is value in ambition and self-improvement, there is also wisdom in recognizing that not everything is within our control. Amor Fati offers a powerful antidote to the stress, anxiety, and dissatisfaction that often arise from our attempts to control the uncontrollable. By learning to love our fate, we can free ourselves from the endless cycle of desire and disappointment. We can find peace in the present moment, no longer haunted by regrets about the past or worries about the future. This doesn't mean becoming passive or indifferent. On the contrary, Amor Fati encourages us to engage fully with life, to live with passion and purpose, but to do so without attachment to specific outcomes. It teaches us to find meaning and value in every experience, trusting that each moment is exactly as it should be. In a world where so much is uncertain and beyond our control, Amor Fati offers a path to inner freedom. It invites us to stop resisting reality and start embracing it, to see every challenge as an opportunity for growth and every setback as a chance to build resilience. Five practical application of Amor Fati. 
So how can we cultivate this mindset of loving our fate in our daily lives? Let's explore some practical steps to integrate Amor Fati into our thinking and behavior. One, shift your perspective to see challenges as opportunities. The first step in embracing Amor Fati is to shift your perspective on challenges and setbacks. Instead of seeing them as obstacles, begin to view them as opportunities for growth. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this situation? Or how can this experience make me stronger? For instance, if you lose a job, rather than succumbing to despair, see it as an opportunity to explore new paths, to develop new skills, or to pursue a passion that you may have neglected. If you face a health challenge, consider how it might teach you greater self-care, compassion, or appreciation for life's simple pleasures. This doesn't mean downplaying the difficulty of these experiences, but rather choosing to focus on how they can contribute to your personal development. By adopting this mindset, you turn adversity into a powerful catalyst for growth. Two, practice mindfulness and embrace the present moment. Mindfulness is a powerful tool in cultivating Amor Fati. It involves paying attention to the present moment without judgment, fully experiencing whatever is happening right now. By practicing mindfulness, you learn to accept each moment as it is, without wishing it were different. This acceptance is at the heart of Amor Fati. When you are fully present, you are less likely to dwell on past regrets or future anxieties. You begin to see that each moment, no matter how challenging, is a unique and irreplaceable part of your life. To practice mindfulness, try incorporating simple techniques into your daily routine, such as mindful breathing, body scans, or simply observing your thoughts and feelings without getting caught up in them. Over time, this practice will help you develop a deeper acceptance of life as it is. Three, focus on what you have. Gratitude is closely related to Amor Fati because it shifts your focus from what is lacking to what is present. When you cultivate gratitude, you learn to appreciate the fullness of your life, even in the face of difficulty. Make it a habit to regularly reflect on the things you are grateful for. This could be as simple as keeping a gratitude journal, where you write down a few things each day that you appreciate. Over time, this practice will help you develop a more positive and accepting attitude toward life. Gratitude doesn't mean ignoring life's challenges, but it does mean recognizing the good that exists alongside them. By focusing on what you have, rather than what you lack, you cultivate a mindset of abundance and acceptance. Four, understand that everything is temporary. One of the core teachings of Stoicism is the recognition of life's impermanence. Everything in life, whether it's a joyful experience or a painful one, is temporary. By understanding this, you can learn to embrace each moment without clinging to it. Amor Fati invites you to love your fate precisely because it is fleeting. When you realize that nothing lasts forever, you can begin to appreciate the beauty and value of each moment even the difficult ones. This understanding can bring a sense of peace and equanimity, knowing that all experiences, both good and bad, will pass. Five, let go of what you can't control and focus on your reactions. Central to Stoic philosophy is the distinction between what is within our control and what is not. While we cannot control external events, we can control how we respond to them. Amor Fati is about focusing on what you can control, your thoughts, your actions, your attitudes, and letting go of the rest. When you encounter a challenging situation, ask yourself, what can I do in this moment? Focus on what is within your power and release any attachment to the outcome. This doesn't mean becoming passive, but rather channeling your energy into actions that are meaningful and productive. By letting go of what you can't control, you free yourself from unnecessary stress and anxiety. You learn to accept life as it is, knowing that your true power lies in how you choose to respond. Four benefits of loving your fate. 
Embracing Amor, Fati brings with it a host of psychological, emotional, and spiritual benefits. Let's explore some of the key advantages of adopting this mindset. One, increased resilience. When you learn to love your fate, you develop a profound sense of resilience. You become less reactive to life's challenges because you understand that they are an inevitable part of the human experience. Rather than being knocked down by adversity, you use it as fuel for growth and transformation. This resilience is not about suppressing emotions or pretending that everything is fine. Instead, it's about facing difficulties head on, accepting them as they are, and finding a way to move forward. Over time, this builds a deep inner strength that allows you to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and courage. Two, greater peace of mind, Amor. Fati brings a sense of peace that comes from accepting life as it is. When you stop resisting reality and start embracing it, you free yourself from the constant struggle against what is. This acceptance leads to a profound inner calm, even in the midst of external turmoil. Peace of mind doesn't mean the absence of challenges, but rather the presence of a steady, centered mind that is not easily shaken by them. By loving your fate, you cultivate this inner peace, knowing that whatever happens, you have the capacity to respond with wisdom and compassion. Three, deeper appreciation for life. When you practice Amor Fati, you develop a deeper appreciation for life in all its forms. You begin to see that every moment, every experience is a precious part of your journey. This appreciation brings a sense of joy and fulfillment, even in the face of difficulty. By loving your fate, you learn to find meaning and value in every experience, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. This deepens your connection to life and allows you to live with a greater sense of purpose and gratitude. Four, enhanced personal growth. Amor Fati encourages you to see every experience as an opportunity for growth. Whether it's a setback, a challenge, or a success, each moment is a chance to learn and evolve. This mindset fosters continuous personal development as you are always looking for ways to grow and improve. By embracing your fate, you become more open to new experiences and perspectives. You learn to welcome change and uncertainty, knowing that they are essential parts of your journey. This openness to growth allows you to reach your full potential and live a life of purpose and fulfillment. Overcoming obstacles to embracing Amor Fati. While the benefits of Amor Fati are clear, embracing this mindset can be challenging. Let's explore some common obstacles and how to overcome them. 1. Attachment to specific outcomes. One of the biggest obstacles to Amor Fati is our attachment to specific outcomes. We often have a clear idea of how we want things to go, and when reality doesn't match our expectations, we feel disappointed or frustrated. To overcome this, practice letting go of your attachment to specific outcomes. Focus instead on the process and the actions that are within your control. Trust that whatever happens is exactly as it should be, and that it will ultimately contribute to your growth and well-being. 2. Fear of uncertainty. Another obstacle is the fear of uncertainty. We often resist embracing our fate because we are afraid of the unknown. We want to control our lives and ensure that everything goes according to plan. To overcome this fear, practice embracing uncertainty as a natural part of life. Remind yourself that uncertainty is not something to be feared, but something to be welcomed. It is through uncertainty that we grow, learn, and discover new possibilities. Three, resistance to change change can be difficult and it's natural to resist it. However, Amor Fati invites us to embrace change as an essential part of life. To overcome resistance to change, practice seeing change as an opportunity for growth and transformation. Remind yourself that life is constantly evolving and that each change, whether positive or negative, is a chance to learn and grow. By embracing change, you open yourself up to new experiences and possibilities. 4. Negative self-talk. 
Negative self-talk can be a major obstacle to embracing Amor Fati. When we are constantly criticizing ourselves or focusing on our perceived failures, it can be difficult to see the value in our experiences. To overcome negative self-talk, practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding, especially during difficult times. Remind yourself that you are doing the best you can and that every experience is an opportunity for growth. To conclude, Amor Fati is more than just a philosophy. It is a way of life. By embracing and loving your fate, you open yourself up to the full richness and complexity of the human experience. You learn to see every moment, every challenge, as an integral part of your journey, and you find meaning and value in all that life has to offer. This doesn't mean that life will always be easy or that you won't face difficulties. But by adopting the mindset of Amor Fati, you develop the resilience, peace and inner strength to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and wisdom. You learn to live fully, passionately and with a deep sense of purpose and fulfillment. So, the next time life throws you a curveball, remember the words of Marcus Aurelius. Love only what happens, no greater harmony. Embrace your fate with open arms and you will discover a life of true contentment and joy. If you found value in this discussion, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights on stoic wisdom for personal growth.